So, hi everyone. I'm just on my way into work, into the office, and uh, I was thinking about the conversation I had with a friend of mine the other day. Uh, he's employed. I run a business, uh, and we've got some other people that are self-employed. And I was thinking about the difference between them all because he proposed to me. He said, "One day, if you're ever on, say, I don't know, two hundred grand a year, which is crazy amounts of money, um, as uh, a self-employed person, would I then take an employed position for two hundred thousand? Well." Obviously, those those numbers are quite big in themselves, and I thought to myself, yeah, a hundred percent, I would take an employed position for fifty thousand pounds less money. And he said, "Well, do you not go to work for money?" I was like, "Well, yeah, I do, uh, but there's with employed people, self-employed people, business owners, there's a difference in kind of what your aspirations are." It's another question that I had on a previous video. So as an employed person, you are swapping your time for money. So you go to work nine till five or whatever the hours may be, and you are swapping your time for money. When you do overtime, you are swapping more of your time for more money. Um, so one, there's always a cap on your, on, on your uh, earnings, but there's also an issue, the fact that you're losing time effectively. So the next step is being self-employed. Now, self-employed is a difficult one because in my opinion, a lot of self-employed contractors and so forth are also swapping time for money. So I don't know, an IT contractor for a bank, he is being paid a certain amount of money for his time. But it's normally an increased amount of money. You t tend to get a little bit more when you're self-employed. But again, you're still swapping time for money. You might be on price work. And then when you're on price work, you're being paid a certain amount for a job. I don't know. Cut a tree down. And you'll then get paid a figure. So again, it may not be as much time. The next step is about a, well, before we go on to that, self-employed people, in addition to swapping time for money, you're also swapping stress for money. So there is the added stress of being a self-employed person, finding the next job and so forth. So there's the added element of stress. Then you've got business owners. Now, when you run a business, it is the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Um, and when you first start out, you're swapping time for money. And you're, you're grafting more hours than you ever did employed. Um, my phone never switched off. Um, I was always answering the phone for, from different people at all hours. And again, you've got an increased amount of stress and you're still taking up a lot of your time. However, as your business grows, then the stress increases, but the time often reduces. So you may not have to spend as much time in your business if you don't want to. So in my business at the moment, uh, I'm relatively integral to my business. So I could probably um, step back the business and I will still earn, still earn a relatively decent wage. However, what will happen is gradually over time, because I'm not in the business to grow it, it will gradually decline, which is one of the reasons why I stay within my business. Um, but then with business, uh, when you're running a business, you get to a point where you've got the infrastructure in place that it keeps growing when you step back. Now that's what I call a, uh, like a proper business. Um, and that's where I aspire to be. So going back to the question, would I 
go employed for £50,000 less, which is a lot of people's wage, it's really decent money. Um, yes, I would if I was self-employed because you're still swapping time for money and you've got the stress. So effectively you could become employed for a significant amount of less stress um, and in the grand scheme of things you're still going to be earning a shed load of money. Um, however, the reason why I wouldn't leave my business now for £50,000 less is because one, I'm not earning that much money unfortunately, um, but also I'm nowhere near where I see the peak of my business and therefore I look at growing my growth potential in the business is significantly more hopefully so the view is to grow the business to a point where I can step back and the business continues to earn me way more than what I could ever have earned employed without having a significant amount of stress so for me I think the difficulty is is summing up what the the middle ground is between swapping your time for money swapping stress for money um, and the fact of earning money without effectively working which historically has been unheard of but the mindset is is about creating that residual income and that's where I want to, to achieve is to, to be able to do that. And that's where I think anyone, any entrepreneur, any aspiring person should target themselves. It's not a monetary value uh, as, as to where you should be. It's a happiness value effectively. Where are you happy to stop? And not look at that as where are you happy to stop in terms of how much money you're earning where are you happy to stop in terms of how much time you're spending within employment or business or, 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 or as a self-employed sole trader? Where are you happy to stop with that? And where is your stress going to be? Because mental health is rife nowadays. And I think that's because of uh, everyone aspiring to be as good as you are on Instagram, as everyone is on Instagram or LinkedIn. And that's not where you should aspire to be. You should aspire to be where you think that you can cope with time and stress and the lifestyle that you want to achieve. Let me know in the comments and um, just tell me what you think of my thoughts really and whether you agree, whether you think you would aspire to be um, at a point where you have residual income or you're happy to, to just kind of work for a sum of money every year um, and that be it for you. What, what do you think? Um, and perhaps maybe we can have a, a, a chat and record it again and have a, a discussion about it. For, for your time and, uh, and get to the end of this video, I know that it's just a talking head and um, it's my rumblings. But uh, yeah, I've, I don't know, it, it was interesting to me and my friend who were chatting about it. So come back to me. Cheers.